Okay, so today's workout is a metabolic workout, and you better get ready. Push until you can't, rest until you can. Go for the full 10 minutes. Every exercise is 10 reps. Break as you need, but challenge yourself to go as fast and as hard as you can. Keep good form. If you feel like you're losing form, take a break and jump back in as soon as you can. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me. If you can and you want to challenge yourself, then try to. If not, go at your pace. All right, are you ready? Let's do it. Hey everyone, my name is Tracy Steen. This is Move Daily Fitness. We're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in sustainable ways. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, we're hitting this metabolic workout. You're gonna require a variety of weights. Again, I have a number of circuits for you and they're gonna be 10 minutes long. Also live, we have our new tank tops for sale as well as our hats. So make sure you check us out at www.movedaily.ca. The address is listed right in the link below, so go ahead and click on that and you too can wear your new tank top as we move daily together. All right, we're starting with a warm up. If you've already done your warm up, go ahead and click the number below and you can get started right away. If not, join with me, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with some squat overhead reach right there. Just want everything to get warmed up because this is a total body workout, okay? So not only are we working legs and lower body, we're gonna hold a little upper body as well. Quite a bit of shoulders as one of the metabolic circuits is all shoulders there, okay? Last one here. Let's take it wide, reach together and open up, stretching into the chest a little bit there. Yeah, I actually really like this style of workout. The only problem when we're doing this on YouTube together like this is that my pace might be different than yours. You know, when we go for one in front, one behind, when we go for a 30 second sequence or a 45 second sequence, then you just do the amount that you do. It doesn't matter, you don't have to count. Here, we're doing 10 reps and then moving on. So it is a little trickier, switch sides. When I've done this before, that's been some of the comments is that people say that they can't keep up or maybe they're faster than me and I'm slowing you down, maybe that's it. So again, it doesn't matter which way you do it. Let's go back to the squat. You can certainly stay with me as best you can. When I move on, you can move on so that you can just follow along with the video. Even if you only are at eight or nine reps and I'm at 10 already, that's okay. Um, and again, there's some moves I'll show you how to modify. So. If you need to modify for yourself, that's an option there. Take it wide here. Open up through the chest, stretching. Yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. I've had a couple requests for this style of video, so I wanted to do it again. It's just with the style of metabolic training, it's hard to, um, like it's a lot about doing circuits and kind of counting your circuit. Counting 10 reps, moving on. And it's gonna be different for everyone too because it's rest-based training, right? You push until you can't, you rest until you can, and yours is gonna be different than mine, switch legs. Here we go for 10. So, anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. No matter what, if you try to keep pace, we're gonna get a great workout here. So I am excited to, to try this one. New for me as well. Okay, back one more round here. Squat overhead reach. This is our last warm up round. Then we're getting started with our first 10 minute circuit. Five more here. Two. All right, let's take it wide. Good, front and back, open those arms. Apparently there's about 27 fires burning in our region right now. It's a lot. It's very hazy out today. Super, super smoky. So that's kind of sucky. I have the air conditioning on. Split, here we go for 10. Um, but I still feel like very dry throat, so I've got my water handy. <laughs> I might be popping over there more than not this session here. Last one, and switch sides. 
and drop it down. Nice and low in that back knee, nice and close to the ground. Okay, last five here. Three, two, and one. All right, we're ready to get started on our 10 minute circuit, our first one. I'll show you what's coming up. I'm gonna go with heavy dumbbells because I want to really challenge my heart, challenge my body. So you're gonna start with 10 suitcase squats, okay? Going into 10 deadlifts, going into 10 bent over rows, and then on the ground quickly going into 10 chest presses. All right, we're repeating that circuit for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start with 15s, we'll see how it goes. Are you ready? Feet your shoulder width apart, shoulders back, and we're squatting right here for 10. All right, I'm gonna try and sort of talk and count on my fingers at the same time. Hopefully I uh, keep track of everything. All right, four more right here. Two, and move into deadlifts next. Shoulders back and hinge low. Reach those hips back and power forward, squeeze glutes to the top. You don't want to arch your back though. All right, five more. Okay. Lead with your chest. All right, hinging forward for that bent over row. You're here and up and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Eight, nine, last one here. On your back, on the ground, into that chest press, and go for 10. You're moving at a pace that's comfortable for you, but challenging for your heart here. All right, that's 10. I'm repeating with no break unless I need it. Here we go, and squats. So that took me about a minute and a half for one round. Not bad. I'll probably slow down as we move forward, but looks about maybe five or six rounds. Deadlifts. There we go. Reach your hips back. Super flat back and core is engaged. You should be squeezing those ab muscles before you descend. Halfway. All right, moving into that bent over row next. Feet are close, hinge forward at the waist, and row for 10, two. Two more. Good, all right, on your back. Oh, hit that chest press here. Halfway, five more. Always mindful about my form, right? That's the name of the game. Make sure that you don't lose form. Here we go. We have seven minutes left. Two. And this is round three. into deadlifts next. Stick your chest up and hinge. As you see, I'm not racing through these exercises. Okay, paying attention to all the cues that I would if I was doing a normal circuit. Four more here. All right, and rowing, hinge forward at the waist. Pull her back. Retract those shoulder blades. Three more. Three, two, and on your back, on the ground. Go. Chest press, here we go. And squeeze.
good. That's 10. Come to standing, we've got five and a half minutes left. So I'm kind of sticking with that minute and a half sequencing. deadlift. I really actually like that rest based training because sometimes I feel like I give myself breaks but I don't really need them in that moment right so if you can listen to your own body pay attention there you're gonna be able to really identify how much you can do before you actually need a break last one here and we're rowing stick your chest out hinge stick your butt out two Seven, eight, nine, and on the floor. Let's go. So we got each of these, here we go for 10. Each of these circuits has four different exercises in them. I'm gonna repeat them all in a round robin fashion for 10 minutes. Last two here. These 15s actually feel really good. Um, I had 17 and a half, so I might have used those too. All right, back to your squats. Good form here, turn those knees out, feet face forward. Six. All right, moving to deadlifts. Good. And wherever the 10 minutes ends, that's where you stop too. Don't have to finish off the full sequence. Good, five more here. So my, that might feel difficult for some of you guys not to finish off. I have one client who's absolutely about keeping everything even. <laughs> she would hate that. Rose, here we go. Butt out, chest out, and up. on your back. This is a nice reprieve here, lying down for a few seconds. Four more, four, three, two, all right, and stand. This is kind of what it'd be like if you went to a class though, like one of my body pump classes I used to teach years ago, and start. You'd keep up with the instructor, if you need a break, stop and then join in. I am not there to tell you what to do. I'm just on this side of the camera telling you what to do. You gotta challenge yourself too. There's 10 deadlifts and hinge, butt out, chest out. Two. Get below the knees on this one. You've got two minutes left. There's 10, we're rowing. All right, hinge forward. Keep a nice stable torso here. Six, seven, eight. It's getting heavier for me, but I can still keep going. Back on your back for chest press. Here we go. Nine and all right, standing. Okay, we're at a minute 16 left. Let's go, see what we can get done here. 10 here. Three more, three, reach those hips back, two, deadlifts now, let's go. Two, three. This is keeping my heart rate up at a nice steady pace. 
feels like. It's not really climbing too much more because the weight's not super heavy, but it feels good. Here's 10. Let's go into those rows. One. Eight, nine. On your back, you have 15 seconds left here. It's gonna be when we're done here. Let's go for 10 if you can. Seven seconds. Knock these out. Six, seven, eight. Close. Okay. Great, and grab a drink of water, take a little break, stretch it out if you need, and we'll move on to the second circuit. I'm a little bit dreading this circuit. This is a full cardio one. Okay, I'll show you what we've got. You're gonna do a burpee star jump. Okay, 10 of those. Then you're moving into a center jack side squat. 10 center jacks, 10 of those. Then you've got a scorpion. Okay, so you're flipping over, touching your toe, flip, 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 touch, flip, 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 two, like that. And then you're gonna finish off with 10 Stationary lunge jumps. So you're gonna do five on this side, two, three, four, five, switch, and 10 on the other side. It's gonna be a high cardio session. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's start with that burpee. Here we go. Woo. Burpee, star. Remember, you're doing 10 of everything. That's five for me. Center jack, side squat is coming up. Little break for a second. All right, center jack, side squat. That's one, two, three, four. Going down to scorpions next. Eight, nine. 10, all right, down on the ground, flip it, touch, one, two, bum is down, three, four, five, six, two more, all right, stationary jump, jumping lunges, Five each leg. Four, five, switch. Two, three, four, five. Woo! Back to the top. Burpee. Here we go. Here's five. Ten. Uh, okay, side jack, center squat, or center, you know what I mean. Center jack, here we go. One, two, That scorpion. Here we go. One, two, halfway. Two more. Here, come on. Bum down, bum down. There we go. 
Break if you need, okay? You can join me wherever I'm at when you're ready again. Five jumping lunges. Switch sides. Good. Four minutes in. Six to go. Let's go back to those burpees. Start jump. Kick those feet out. Bring those arms up. exercise for extra reps until I get there. All right, burpees. Here we go. Five more. circuit. Probably. Ready? Burpees. And go. One 
one more here. Oh, that's so hard. Uh, pukey. Minute 10 left. Remember, this is rest based training. Push until you can't. Rest until you can. Let's go 10 here. Drop your glutes. One more. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds. Scorpions. Here we go. Bum down. Three. Four. 20 seconds. Get up. Let's do this. Five seconds. Switch. Uh, um, oh, lady, that was hard. Okay, bring your heart rate down. Shoulder circuits coming up. It's a killer. Here's your four shoulder exercises. So you're gonna do an overhead press like that. Then you're gonna do a combo, so it's two and one. You're gonna do a front raise, hinge, reverse fly. That'll be one, okay? So we'll do 10 of those. And then we'll do a standing lateral raise, right like that. So four exercises, but kinda of in three chunks. All right, let's start. All right, 10 overhead presses. Let's go up at eight. I feel like for 10 minutes, that's gonna be plenty. If I was doing five minutes, I might do 15s, but we're gonna be challenging ourselves, so. And it's all shoulders. All right, that's 10 there. Good, now you've got that front raise, hinge, reverse, that's one. Up, no swinging the hips here. Two, stand up and then lift. Up, four, five, Oh, this is gonna be really good for the shoulders. Two more here, like for 10 minutes. What was I thinking? Last one. Also, if you need to stretch your neck out intermittently, feel free to do that. Lateral raises. Here we go for 10. for a second, rest base. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get them up very well if I don't take a little second here. Keep going if you want. Okay, overhead press. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, front raise, reverse fly. Be soft. Tummy tight. Here we go. Hinge. One. Stand. Up. Hinge. Two. Stand. Three. Four. Five. Halfway. I'm almost bent in half here. I really want to hit rear delts, not lateral delts. Two more. Last one here. Boy, let's work. Okay, lateral raises. 10, here we go. One. We're 
three minutes in. I know, that's it. I feel ya. Last two. I'm gonna set them down for a sec. Fives are looking pretty good right now. Do another round of eight, so I think I can do it. Here we go. And 10, two, three. This is the easiest one for sure for me. Nine, 10, right there, okay. Front reverse. Knee soft, tummy tight. Squeeze your abs so you don't use your back. One. Then lift. Up. Nine. That way we don't use momentum on that front raise. Ten. Okay, lateral. Five minutes in. Here we go. You can bend those arms slightly, makes it a slight amount easier. And your fulcrum is not so long there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, just gonna grab water quickly. Stretch my butt because somehow very itchy. <laughs> you don't care. Hey, if you're this far along in this video, probably means you've done it with me a bit. You know me. I could stop the whole thing, but I don't want to. We're in a flow. All right. Please don't comment down <laughs> below. The new people will be afraid. Here we go. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 minutes left. 9, 10. All right. Front raise, a reverse fly. Knees soft, shoulders back. Here we go. Up. from the bottom but I know that I'll be using my back if I do that so it's very hard for me to come all the way up and then do that front raise all right laterals ready let's do it up for ten Great ladder. Start at one, go to ten of everything. Like as a finisher, I'd like that. Okay, overhead press. Ready? Two and a half minutes left. Here we go. Ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh, gross. Okay, front raise. Reverse flies. Here we go. Up. Reverse one, two, your 
Halfway, come on. straight as you can. Here we go. Up. One. Two. Three. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, ten. <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it. Okay. 35 seconds left, back to the overhead press. Let's go. I've got in a zone there for a second. Here we go. 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Front raise, reverse fly. 15 seconds, here we go. Four, three, two, and done. Ah, uh, good job. Okay, I have a final arm circuit for you, buys and tries. My arms are killing right now though, Tracy, so it's gonna be tricky. Rest for a second, grab some water. Join me back for that last one. All right, let me show you what's coming up. I just put a chair close by so I don't have to bend down each time because I'm actually gonna switch weights each circuit. So for the biceps, I'm gonna lift heavier. I've got my 15s. For the triceps, I'll go a little bit lighter with the eights. So you're gonna do hammer curls for 10. Nice and heavy. Set those down. Should just not roll to your death. Straight arm kickback. Arms are straight, hinge at the waist, all the way back up there. Squeeze the tricep at the top. Then into palms up bicep right here, all the way up and down. Good. And then you're gonna flow right into a tricep kick out, elbows out, kick and squeeze those triceps right there. Starting with those hammer curls. Okay, knee soft, shoulders back. Give me 10 right there. Palms face and then a slight turn and squeeze at the top there. That's three. So I wanna go really heavy because last circuit and I just want to really work my biceps today. I think when your biceps are like popping, that helps your shoulder, triceps, everything kind of look cut when you're wearing a tank top. All right, there's your 10. Good, straight arm kick out, kick back, hinge at the waist, straight arms there and down. No swinging here. Three, good, four. See where my arm comes down? That's exactly my starting position. I don't bob or swing at the bottom here. Last one right here, and up. Good, palms up, bicep. Okay, oh boy, it's gonna be hard. Okay, palms up, all the way to the top. Slow descent, two, good, three. Now I'm really watching my form here. This is really important, especially if you grabbed heavy weights like me. Uh, and I wanna pop my hips forward, try and get these weights up. You can just rest, remember. That's the rest-based concept here. Two more. Nine. Ten. Good. Kick outs, tricep kick out. Okay. Oh, that. Pump them up, elbows out slightly, and kick for 10. Two, three, four. See how low my elbows are? They're not up at shoulder height. Six. Seven, eight, just enough to turn my arms in. One more here. All right, back to hammers. Break if you need. If you don't, you keep going. Do I need? I don't know, probably, but here we go. All right, up, turn. Two, three. I like this combo of heavy and lighter for me. Five, six. 
Shoulders back. about that. Luckily, I just got off my client and I was coming up the hill and he's like, if you're around, can you pick me up? I'm walking home right now. Two more. Up. Last one. Up. And of course, you don't want to say, you know, did you notice that it was lower on the gas scale there? You didn't notice. Palms up. Here we go. Oh. Have I ever run out of gas? Let me think. Two. I don't think so. He has though. <laughs> oh, four. Have you? So embarrassing. Walking with your jerry can. Six. At least it was in a residential area that he ran out. Seven. Eight. Totally. What a pump. Two more here. Nine. Ten. Okay, kick outs. Okay, Whew. elbows out. Well, there's a detour right now, so it's in a residential area, but everyone actually has a detour by there, so there was quite a few people that drove by us this morning as he's out there with his little jerry can. Two more here, and out, good. I'm feeling way more buys than tries. You can feel free to go heavier on the tries if you want. Hammers, ready. We're in it for 5.40 left. So four and a half minutes so far. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more here. Oh. Good, straight arm kick out, kick back, kick back. Gotta grab some a sip of water after this, my mouth is dry. All right, hinge forward, up for 10, two, three, little pause at the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right, palms up, bicep. Oh, quick sit. Whew, arms are shaking. <coughs> Knees soft, tummy tight. Palms up. Ten. Two. in so tight there. One more here. Ten. Might try the heavier weights on that one next time. Back to hammers. Three minutes and a half. Three minutes and a half. Three and a half minutes left. Ten here. Two. Maybe pick up your pace here. Come on. Three. Four. Don't want to use momentum. 
I'd rather pause at the top slightly, right there. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, yeah, good. Holy. All right, palms up. Let's do it. Two minutes left. Doing good. Ready. All the way up. Working that peak here. Two. Shoulders back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Last one here. Good. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Kick out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stick your chest out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. So hard. Okay, hammer curls, hands. A minute 10 left. Let's get at least another arm by and try in. Here we go, hammer curls, knee soft, up for 10 here. One, two, three, four. Last one here. 30 seconds left. Ugh, good. Let's go to that kick out. Back. Damn it. Okay. Hand to the waist, butt out, chest out. Up for 10. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight seconds. Eight. Nine, slow, slow, last one here, hold it up, 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 That's it. How do your arms feel, like this? Mine too. Okay, I'm not high cardio right now, so let's move right into stretching. Arms back, thumbs down, stretch those biceps, tilt your neck to one side there. Holy, do you feel like you got a pump going on there? I feel like jacked right now. <laughs> oh, stretch those thumbs back. That was good. I'm glad I threw the cardio component in there though. That made it hard. Like with metabolic training, you definitely want to lift as heavy as you can. Bring your arm across, right? So, so that you require rest. So if you're, if you're lifting like five pounds, eight pounds the whole time, especially on those heavy lifts like your squat or chest press, you're not gonna fatigue. So you'll be able to continue going. So the key is, is to rev up your metabolism by making the body require more energy, more fuel, so that it begins to burn your body fat quite readily because it needs energy to do the, the exercises, especially if they're compound exercises, right? One hand down, reach up and over. There we go. But hitting full body like that too is great. Again, requiring lots of energy to burn so that you can have fuel for the workout. And then because we're resistance training and high intensity, especially with that cardio, you're burning up to three, four, sometimes even five and six hours after um, your workout. And that's the benefit of doing HIIT training, high intensity intervals, is that uh, you continue burning because your body has to replace all those lost oxygen stores round through the back right here. Right? Because at times you can go into that anaerobic threshold. So you can't breathe very well. There's tons of lactic acid and now your body basically goes into a bit of oxygen debt because you're using it all that's in there. So it works to rep repair and replace all that lost oxygen. So that's the benefit of that. Hands behind the back, tilt your neck gently to one side. Anyway, that felt good. That felt good to for today, I liked it. 
I almost could have ended off with one more cardio. If you're feeling like you want to do that, do that other 10 minute cardio one more time. I've got to get going silently, so I can't do it right now, but um, yeah, I, I'm thinking my arms are going to be sore tomorrow. I hope so. That felt good. Okay, let's just sit down into that glute position there, a little glute stretch here, just for some of those squats and deadlifts that we did at the beginning there. <sighs> That's good. So you're getting this video while I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now, so I'm sure I'm dying of heat right now, but I'm bringing that leg across. I did bring my camera, or I'm going to bring my camera, um, so hopefully I can get a video in while we're down there. I know they have a really nice gym where we're staying, at my client's place, so I'll see what that gym is like, maybe film something there, or maybe do something in their space, depending on what it looks like. I haven't been there, so I'm excited. All right, excellent job, everyone. Thanks for moving daily with me. I appreciate that. Hey, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you check us out over there because that's where I'll post like recipes and fun ideas. Those chickpea blondies that I made the other day are over there, so make sure you check that out. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Don't forget to click the link below if you want to order a tank top or a hat so that you can remember to move daily as well. All right, see you in the next video.